Watched all over the world, these are moments which have changed global history. I, William Jefferson Clinton, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. At every inauguration since that of George Washington, the new man, and it's always been a man, about to move into the White House makes a speech. It is a historic moment, and some of the words so carefully chosen have themselves gone down in history. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. The orderly transfer of authority as called for in the Constitution. Contrast the eloquence and lofty ideals there with the sort of speeches we've heard from the man who'll be next to occupy the most powerful office on earth. The tradition was begun by George Washington in which uh, President Washington spoke about national unity, the common good, and most importantly, God's blessings upon our nation. Uh, every president since then has upheld that tradition. Do you think that Donald Trump will be able to resist a dig at his opponent and at those Americans who didn't vote for him? I would like to think that he would rise above this and pivot to uh, a more uh, lofty and forward-looking um, vision, whether, whether his words match that or not in terms of lofty words. Um, and that would certainly be my hope. Uh, I would be very disappointed if he looks backwards and gets negative. It's certainly not the time or place for it. Throughout history, there's been a pattern to inaugural speeches. They are solemn and historic. Will Donald Trump's be different? Well, look at his election campaign. Perhaps we're going to see something we've never seen before. James Bays, Al Jazeera, Washington, D.C.